Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about shade cloth. Shade cloth is really a garden game changer once you understand how to use it. And you can use shade cloth twice. Well, in two different ways. You can use it to keep the soil cooler, spring to summer, that's what we're gonna use it for right now. And you can use it to keep the soil cooler in the summer when the soil temperatures and the ambient temperatures are just getting so hot that your tomatoes, your peppers, other plants shut down. So overall what it does is it cools the soil temperature. This is one area. I'm going to set up several areas with shade cloth and just teach you about the principles of how to use it. So this is a 50% shade cloth. So you'll see shade cloth, they'll have different ratings. Check out the video description, it will link to my Amazon shop. It will give you some examples of shade cloth. You don't have to buy those, but I just wanted to make it easy for you to link to it. So this is about a, actually I think this one might be a 70% shade cloth. This is what I typically use July, cool down the ground for my tomatoes, my peppers. I'm using it for lettuce. Today, it's gonna to be 85 degrees. Tomorrow, in the 80s. The next day, in the 80s. And I want, to be able to get beautiful heads of lettuce. So I have to keep this soil cool. Believe it or not, I'm usually worried about frost right now, middle of April, but now it's these crazy heat waves that are coming in. Last week we had several days of 70 and 80 degree days. I put up the shade cloth and the lettuce looks beautiful. The shade cloth will come in a rating like I was saying. So a 70% shade cloth blocks 70% of the light. So it lets in 30%. So the higher the number, the more shade it provides. And 70% seems fine for lettuces and leafy greens. Down in the end, I have some um, broccoli and I have some collards, keeping it nice and cool. When the temperatures go back to the lower 70s and 60s during the day, I will take the shade cloth up. But now I have it on, it's gonna be in the upper 70s, upper 80s for three straight days. When that heat is coming down and warming that top two, four, six inches of the soil, Getting it past what your cool weather crops like, which, you know, I don't know exactly the temperature, but it's cooler. But when you're pushing this temperature in the soil up to 70 degrees, 80 degrees, and that's really easy to do when the sun is pounding on it, the roots warm, the plant gets the message to bolt, which means it sends up a flower stalk, it flowers and it produces seed. So we are protecting this lettuce, leafy greens, the cool weather crops. You don't have to protect all of them, but leafy greens for sure protect them with some shade cloth. Now, if you get one day where the temperature spikes to 85 and then it goes back down into the 60s for a couple of days, you know, lower 70s, you're fine. But when you're getting probably three consecutive days of high temperatures, that's enough to really warm the soil up, keep the soil warm, and your plants are going to bolt. So we're using shade so cloth. So we're using shade cloth to keep the soil temperature cooler. Sometimes you might be in an area where the temperatures are getting up into maybe the 80s, but at nights it's dropping by like 30 or 40 degrees and it's back down into the 40s. That's a little bit better for your cool weather crops. But for instance, we're going to have 50 degree nights, 80 degree days. That's really going to warm up this space. So I want to use the shade cloth. Other places that you could use it. So this was my first wave of radishes and they're getting all pulled out. They're going to be done. When it starts, when the warm. soil starts warming up for radishes, the radish can get pithy, woody, it gets spicy, it gets that hot flavor that some people don't like, sends up a flower stalk. So I'm gonna be putting shade cloth on here of some sort. If you don't have shade cloth, you could use a sheet. It's okay to kind of block them from the sun for several days to keep them cooler. It doesn't have to be shade cloth. That can, can, can yeah, that can get expensive. The radishes in here are all gonna get pulled out. These are my first wave. But I want to protect these guys because they haven't even formed radishes yet. Beautiful leaves, but that warm weather's coming. I want them to develop a nice radish. Peas, I don't protect them with shade cloth. They seem to grow well with the warm weather. Just keep them really well watered. Coming through here, I have an area that gets some shade, just how the sun tracks around it. These are a lot of beets. I'm not going to cover those. Beets seem to do okay with the warm weather. In this space, I put up two tomato cages. I'm gonna drape something across there. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what everything looks like covered. That is a Chinese cabbage and celery. That's gonna probably want some shading, even though it's you can see the shade here. I wanna keep them cool because Chinese cabbages are really notorious, known for flowering really fast. And I just want a nice head of this beautiful burgundy cabbage. 
This is the 50% shade cloth. It casts 50% shade, lets in 50% light, 50-50, when in doubt, try that. In the summer, to keep the ground cooler, to keep your tomatoes from dropping flowers and, and, and to help keep them producing, you probably want like a 70% shade cloth. I have broccoli under here. Broccoli forms those beautiful crowns, those heads. They are flower buds basically, and if it gets too warm, that head of broccoli and cauliflower doesn't stay nice and tight for harvesting, it blooms, and we don't want that. So cauliflower, broccoli are wonderful for being protected by shade cloth. So I'll walk around, set this up, show you some examples of how I use it. I like using cattle panel so that I can just put up a shade cloth just like that. I just simply clip it on with clothespins, move it when it's cooler. This is just a nice way to be able to take it up and take it down. I will also grow something up here, maybe beans. It will create a nice wall of leaves. It will shade this space and maybe I'll put tomatoes in here and midsummer the leaves of the beans will keep the soil cool and my tomatoes will keep producing. When your soil temperature is being hit by summer sun, real easy, seriously, for it to get up to over 100 degrees in that top couple of inches. You tomatoes have tons of surface roots, that top four inches really warms. Tomato gets the idea that, hey, drought conditions are coming, I better stop creating or producing tomatoes and just wait for the right temperatures. Also, the other thing that you can do, I'll be doing a video on it, is just mulching and watering during the summer. That helps your tomatoes, peppers, eggplant to continually produce because it's giving them moisture and it does keep the soil cooler. All right, let's go. Oh, let me go right over to here. So that was shade cloth that I was showing you. There's other products. That is ag fabric. And I use that to cover really my collards, some kales, keep that crazy white butterfly from laying eggs on there. Right now, I put out some tiny Tims. I was growing them indoors, getting a lot of harvest off of them. I've cut them back and I put them in the ground. They aren't acclimated to the sun yet. So I'm just folding up my ag fabric. It's letting in some light and that will provide some shade. That will keep the soil cooler. And you can do this. You can just drop something light across the soil of your cool weather crops and that will help protect protect them too during this period of three days of you know 80 degree temperatures. All right well let's start here and again I'll go over the plants that I feel really benefit from shade cloth going from spring into summer when the temperatures are getting too hot. So this is my lettuces right in here and it's important to understand that my sun rises from actually over that way and it tracks around here and the southern sky is out to my left. So I'm putting up the barrier where the southern sun and the western sun are going to be coming in so the lettuces in there will get shade and that will really help them form nice heads of lettuce and not bolt and that's what I want to stress. And you know a couple degrees difference can make all the world in your cool crops staying how you want them to be and then being able to harvest them in the way that you want. Let's walk over this way. Again, I'm just using the sheer ag fabric. I used these for my trees a couple years ago when the cicadas were here in Maryland, um, zone seven. That will keep them cool. And the sun is going to track over this way. Southern sun is right there. And that's when it all kind of hits my garden and it keeps tracking that way. So the most intense sun is the direction that I just showed you. So I'm setting up this tarp to catch the sun when it's most direct. The sun that's coming in from back here is sun that's lower in the sky. It's morning sun. I don't even think it's um, 10 a.m. yet. You can see how the shade is back over there. Well, as the sun gets to its highest point, the shade is going to go right over the radishes and it will keep that soil much cooler. I just threw down this ag fabric or if the material you're using is really lightweight and sheer, I'm just throwing that right over the radishes there. That corner that's unprotected stays in the shade. This will make a difference, just laying something on there like that. You want to make sure there's pores in it. This is ag fabric, so it keeps out the insects, but it lets in water, sunlight, rain, etc., airflow. If you were putting a heavy tarp on here, that could heat up and actually kill your plant. So if you're going to lay something on 
your plants. It should be sheer, it should have holes in it, and you should let airflow really come through. When you're setting these up, before you put down any of the materials, either on a trellis or on the ground, really soak in your plants and water them in well. Let's spin around this way. I just ordered this. This is 70% shade cloth and lettuces. Any leafy greens really tend to bolt. I want to protect those and I think they're, you know, they're doing really well. I love the color mix. They're starting to form. It's already cooler under here. Bok choy, pak choy, Chinese cabbages definitely bolt very quickly. You want to keep them cool. I find peas seem to be okay. Kohlrabi seems to be okay. Cabbage, just your standard, you know, round cabbages, not the Chinese cabbages, seem to do okay. Broccoli, cauliflower, would love to have some shade. Nothing fancy, and I'm just using tomato cages and clothespins to keep this in shape. Down here I have some spinach, and I want to stress again too, it's really important to water and cool down the soil. That spinach will definitely bolt. That was planted by seed at the beginning of my spring. It's getting to size, it's delicious, I've been eating it. Here's an example of what bolting spinach looks like. This is spinach from last year that overwintered and your plants will send up these stalks just like that and it will begin to flower. So the whole structure of the plant changes when it warms, they bolt, they flower, they want to produce seed. You might have something small, you might have container garden, you can use a tomato cage, just drop it in, and you could just hang a towel right over here. It's okay if your plants aren't getting, you know, a ton of light for a couple of days, or they're sitting in shade, especially your leafy greens can definitely handle it. Just lay the towel so that the towel is facing the southern sun, keeping it cooler, and those beautiful heads of red lettuce right now will form to the size that you want them you know, to get to. And then finally, let's end with this. This is a tarp. If you're going to use a tarp, this is an example. There's no pores in the tarp. So you wouldn't want this low to the ground. If you put it low to the ground, it's going to absorb heat. Notice I have it flipped over where the silver side is up. That will reflect back some of the light. The brown side is down. But if you put a tarp down or something that doesn't have any pores, it's going to heat up that space and that could be damaging. But something like this works perfectly fine. It's not going to heat up this area. You can see some shades already there. And again, I'm going to spin around. The summer sun well, the sun all the time, doesn't matter when it is, but the southern, southern sun is what I wanted to say, comes in right through there and hits there. So all of my shade cloth is angled this way or angled this way to keep the soil cooler. Shade cloth will really make a difference. It is worth the investment. You can use it to keep your cool weather crops growing nicely spring into summer and you can use it again midsummer when it gets too hot and some of your plants stop producing because they're going into drought protection mode or believe the environment's just not right to keep producing tomatoes and peppers thanks so much for watching please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and shade cloth will really change the way you garden all of the lettuces in here are going to get to a beautiful size i'll be able to eat two or three of those a day over the next seven to ten days if i didn't protect it they're all going to bolt and they're all going to be pretty much useless so all the time that i've put into taking care of these will be wasted because it's getting too hot thanks for watching